All right, so we're going to be working on a little hack today to show you how to add in uh, extra details to characters you've already created. So find yourself a character that you've worked on and bring it into Photoshop or Canva or whichever art generator you use. Um, I use an old version of uh, Photoshop. It's probably 15 years old by now, but it all works. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add detail. Um, I look at this here and I think I want to add a necklace to this character. So we're going to create a new layer and uh, we're going to change our color over to kind of a gold color here just to give the AI the idea of what we're looking for. Now, the necklace that we're going to draw onto this layer can be very rudimentary. It doesn't have to be good at all. It just has to, you know, have the kind of the, the direction that you want it to take and kind of the shapes that you want. I think we're going to add a medallion to this and I think we'll throw in, um, let's throw in a red Kyber crystal since he's a, a dark user and, uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. And one thing that does help a little bit is if you notice, instead of just putting a red dot here, I'm going to give it just a little highlight in the middle and that lets the AI know that that's uh, a reflective dimensional object. So we're going to save this as is right here. And we're going to take it over into Stable Diffusion and to Focus. Um, I'm going to set these settings very low and put it on Fast Render. And what we're doing here is we're just getting it to clean up the necklace for us. Now, if you notice on the character that it's bringing up here, we've lost in the face there some of our looks. Our lightsabers are different. We're not worried about that right at the moment. We were more worried about the necklace here. So let's save this image or copy it and bring it over into Photoshop and paste it in. Now we're gonna to wanna to go over and make a copy of our original and lay it over the top of the one that we just brought over. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to our new layer that we brought in and we're going to trace out this necklace. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be super close. You want to get close to the edge, but you can leave a little bit of, of room there. It's not going to make a difference. Now we're going to switch back to our original picture, and we're just simply going to delete out that part, and it's going to let the necklace from the new one show through. So now we've got our original character, and it's got the necklace now. So we're going to bring it back over into Stable Diffusion, and we're going to run it this time, we're going to go to upscale times two and we're going to switch ourselves over to a high quality. Now in the style section here, um, we don't really need the volumetric lighting on since that was taken care of when we did our character, but it would be a good idea to turn on the enhancements, which act just helps sharpen up lines and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and run that and it's going to give us a character much closer to our original. Now, remember with AI, nothing's ever going to be perfect. So we're still going to have to go in here in a second and just do a couple little tweaks to it to bring it back to our original character. So these renders seem like they're going pretty fast. A render like this on my system takes about a minute, minute and 20 seconds. So it's nothing too terrible. Um, so we're going to open up our original picture in its full size and we're going to paste this image over the top of it. And now if you look back and forth, you can see the changes that it made. They're subtle, but they're noticeable. And we like our original character. So with our original pasted over the top, we're going to bring out our eraser and we're going to make sure that we set it to feathered for the edges and bring it up to a decent size to work with. And then we're simply going to go in staying within the edges of the face. We're going to go in and erase the face from the new character. And what this will do is it'll blend subtly back in the original face that we had. Um, there are also some other areas, like I noticed that the, the tattoos changed slightly. If we look back and forth, you can see that the, the wings kind of shortened. So we're going to just slightly feather that out on each side. And then down on his uh, lower chest there, the eye is missing from that tattoo. So we'll go ahead and, and just bring that back in as well. So now we're back to our original character and he's got a necklace on now. It's really hard to do this by just typing these in as prompts on stable diffusion. So this way you get a good 
uh, solid character, your original character, and you've added detail. Now this, you can do, you know, you can add armor, you can add helmets, you can add sunglasses. There's all kinds of things that you can add using this technique. So anyway, thanks for sticking around. And if you like or subscribe, we'd appreciate it. And if you see anything that we can do better, let us know in the comments.